What's up, everyone? We're here with Danger Talk Season 1. But the year we played Philly in the finals, the radio station paid this crappy band to find out where my room was at, and they played Rocky all night. When I woke up, they kept playing it, so now I'm pissed. So now, <laughs> okay, all right, you think it's gonna work? As soon as I get to the ring, the first play of the game, I'm gonna elbow the Kim Raymond tumble on his face, throw it down on and look at the crowd and let them know that Rocky will not work for me. This, this, how cerebral Chris, Chris Nolan is, I mean, he, it's almost like he predicted this pandemic, I swear, like he just know, like he's just so ahead of the game. And uh, on things, but yet he's so free, like you said, Pete Carroll is, and and, and he welcomed my instincts. That's what I loved about both of these guys, uh, and, and when I say guys, uh, um, Spike Lee and Christopher Nolan. You know, if I go out here and have two or three touchdowns, a hundred and something yards, I wouldn't watch the highlights mm. because I know sooner or later, within a week or two, I'm gonna get to it, and then there's gonna be something negative. So I, I like, I, I'll be a fool to sit here and say that. I'm not affected by the negative things that were said about me throughout my career. I just wanted to be strong and, you know, tried to push myself into being a better person and a better player. Man, we play, I play all season long and there's sometimes we lose games and I'll be like, man, we should have beat them. Like one of the losses this year when we lost to this team, I was like, Shh, man, they just, they beat us. Like yeah. Miami and they, they just, they, beat the hell out of us, right? And it wasn't like we was missing shots and all that. It was like they had all these little tricks as far as like coming to set a ball screen and saying something to make you think you're switching. And they just played so good together as a team. Kobe laid the blueprint of the expectations of children and how you can break it down to them and they understand it. Especially if you look at like what he did with the Mamba team and they were running sets, like college sets and breaking down defenses and things like that. and. He was the first one where I was like, yeah, female athletes. He was like, you mean athletes? I was like, no, he's like athletes. So it was the perfect storm for me. It was, you know, a guy who could play and, and I was young. So I was able to, to embrace the city and the city embraced me. And it was, it was pretty cool. I'm going to flip yes. it backwards just for this interview, you know, just, yes, to, feel, sir. just to feel like you go up there, Jimmy. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to play ball today, you know? We get to the last day of filming and at the end of the day, they go, okay, that's a wrap. And I'm like, okay, I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. They're like, no, 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 that's a film wrap. The film's over. And I'm like, what? Wait a minute. I, like I did not even, I was not seeing the finish line. I did not see the destination. It's the old Bo Jackson doesn't run across the goal line. He runs across through the end zone and up the tunnel. Like to get, well, you know, you get it, the only place to get away from the media is you go in the, into the training room. And I had a cheeseburger, <laughs> double cheeseburger in there. <laughs> was that an <laughs> before the game? So I went in there to eat and my dad walked in and he's going, hey, congratulations. I'm going, yeah, thanks, dad. And he goes, what's, what's wrong with you? I go, I don't know. I just didn't feel like I played, you know, like like I should. And he goes, will you shut up? You just won the Super Bowl and you were the MVP. So <laughs> eat your burger, be quiet, yeah. have some fun. Every time I go somewhere with my son, a woman says, you're really good looking, you're really handsome. What the right? Look at me, what about me? You know, I'm really, I'm really jealous, man. You gotta just keep that yeah, shirt off. They'll compliment you. They'll compliment. All right, I'm gonna do that next time. <laughs> I would say, what he's handsome. Look at this. He don't got this. <laughs> so I, I would love to own the Seattle Seahawks one day. That would be one of my biggest goals in uh, life. You know, you have some goals and things you want to do. Um, you know, um, and I think that there's no reason why you can't. I mean, absolutely no reason why you can't get there. I think also too to be a, a, a black owner, you know, of a, of a major sports team, you know, and to. You know, to own an NFL team like the Seattle Seahawks would be a really, really special thing. I saw her, I saw her, I saw her rooting for Tom Brady. And I'm like, you know what? I like Tom. But she was rocking this jersey and all this stuff. And so you got to explain yourself well, right I here. No, 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 no. I was rocking a Pat's it's, jersey. You were rocking was whatever. You were streaming no, 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 this no, Tom no, Brady. No, no, I was at my house in Atlanta, <laughs> Georgia. And it was around Christmas time. <laughs> not sick, or Thanksgiving, somewhere in that time. But no, Christmas, because that's when you start She's doing the playoffs. run around thing. She's no, 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 because that's when we get close <laughs> to playoffs. So I will tell you, I remember. Yes, I rooted for Tom, and I also rooted for you as well because you guys met up. So yes, that is right. This guy named Leon Washington, one of the best kickoff returners in NFL history. And I watched this guy my rookie year, and he would go full speed every freaking rep. I always asked him, I said, man, I said, hey, you got any advice for me? He said, how many massages did you get a week? I said, how many massages did I get a week? I said, I mean, I get like one, you know, maybe two, depending on how, how sore I am. Right. He says, okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need you to make that three at least a week. 
I said, three? Man, I'm, I'm on rookie salary, though. I mean, what you mean, three? We're going to play 20 weeks. It was the Super Bowl. You understand that, right? So how much is that? I said, well, $6,000. He said, okay, cool. Well, let me tell you something, Rook. So that $6,000 for me turned into $6 million. That $6,000 for you, that's going to turn to $60 million for you one day. And I was like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> One of the things that I was annoyed about was myself, shocker in the ballroom, but I was, because I remember when it was happening that I thought to myself, holy cow, my next question better be a good one. And I'm still trying to follow up with what he's saying. Then when he stopped and he said, don't you ever talk about me again? I was like, who's talking about <laughs> Now, as I've discussed with other people, that wasn't a terrible question, but what I want to like blow my brains out about is, my stupid look on my face when I did it. Who was talking about you? Like, so <laughs> why do you have to ask it that way? And to be honest, I didn't think being engaged was going to make me feel different. I felt like for a long time with Megan in a good way, like it felt like forever. We were kind of, we talk about things like for in a forever kind of way. But then I have to admit, when when the moment actually happened, there's nothing better than saying that the word fiance. You guys like use the word fiance like a lot. Like, yeah, it's like one of those yeah. things. It makes you feel special, doesn't it? <laughs> a little bit. I feel grown. Every day that I went to work, I needed to learn something. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't go to work just to try to get through it. I sort of see that same work ethic in in, in DK. I don't have the physique like him now. I don't. <laughs> I don't no one does. <laughs> I tell DK all the time, I got an eight pack underneath this. All the <laughs> Just be you. Being you is what got you. They don't want you to be like anybody else. They don't want you to play like anybody else. They want you to be the Tyler Lockett that they thought you were when they drafted you. Just be you and bring your light to whatever darkness it is or whatever other light it is. And hopefully we can make it outshine what it was previously.